first up what we've got for you guys is the all new LG G3. This is the latest smartphone offering from the house of LG and this is their flagship smartphone. But before we begin the review of this new device, let's tell you what the specs are like. LG G3 is finally here in India, but is it worth the hype? The new LG G3 flagship sports 5.5 inch 1440 by 2560 QHD pixel resolution screen which provides the super crisp 538 pixels per inch. Dimensions are pretty compact for the screen size, resulting in excellent 76.4% screen to body size ratio. The Android 4.4 KitKat based handset is powered by quad core Snapdragon 801 and 3GB of LPDDR3 RAM. It features 32 GB of internal storage and a micro SD slot. The main 13 megapixel rear shooter comes with the company's improved optical image stabilization plus and has a laser autofocus assist beam which delivers fast focus even in low light scenarios. There is also a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera for selfies. LG G3 is priced in India for 47,990 rupees. Alright, those are the specs on the all new LG G3, the flagship smartphone from the house of LG. So let's begin the review and tell you about its design first. Now if you look at the smartphone, to describe it in one sentence, all you have to say is that it's bigger, brighter, sharper and of course impressive. Now if you look at the design, LG has managed to squeeze in a 5.5 inch display keeping the bezels really thin, the smartphone grips really well in your hands and of course the button placement is at the back, the volume rocker, the power key button the camera, they're all integrated nicely at the back. There's also a brushed metal finish which is non-smudging but of course it's not metal that's used on this smartphone. It is actually a polycarbonate shell but definitely gives you that premium feel of brushed metal steel. Design wise this is a very nice smartphone with a big display on it and of course it hits the sweet spot when it comes to the design. Now the screen is a thing of beauty on this one. This is a 5.5 inch QHD screen. LG has been advertising this smartphone that has a QHD screen. So what is a QHD screen? It's actually a 2K screen, twice the resolution of your HD display. And it is sharper. It provides a 534 PPI of pixel resolution. And the screen is actually very sharp. But hey, you really need to look very closely to find that sharper detail on the display. So, in a way, it really doesn't matter whether you get an HD screen with this one or a QHD screen. It's more of a marketing gimmick by LG. But overall, if you talk about the display, it's actually very good. It's not as bright or as contrasting as a Super AMOLED display, but it's right up there with modern high-end smartphone displays. So display-wise, yes, the LG G3 definitely delivers. Now there's very little to choose between high-end Android smartphones these days. When it comes to performance, they almost all pack in the top-end Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset in them. Similarly, the LG G3 also packs in the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, a quad-core processor that is clocked at 2.5 GHz and if you buy the 16 GB variant, 
of this smartphone you get about 2 GB of RAM and if you buy a 32 GB variant of the LG G3 you get 3 GB of RAM. That 1 GB of RAM actually does not make much of the difference when it comes to multitasking. The phone can easily handle heavy 3D gaming as well with an ease and multitasking of course and on that beautiful display that it has to offer well it looks brilliant so performance wise this smartphone is on the money and at the same platform as any high-end Android smartphone over there be it the HTC One M8 or the Sony Xperia Z2 or the Samsung Galaxy S5 this smartphone delivers when it comes to performance in a lot of hardware innovation when it comes to the 13 megapixel primary camera on the all new LG G3. Now the laser autofocus is the real innovation that we've never seen before in a mobile camera. Most cameras rely on contrast detection to focus. That's all well and good in bright conditions but in low light there's not enough contrast and this means that the camera struggles to focus. The LG G3 low power laser sends multiple beams of lights for the contrast detection to focus on. In low lit conditions, the LG G3 focuses and takes a picture very quickly. The camera app is really easy to use. There are just four modes, autofocus, magic focus, macro, panorama and the dual. The camera can also capture 120 frames per second slow motion videos and up to five minutes of 4K footage. It also packs in a 2.1 megapixel true selfie camera up front, which is really good for taking selfies. And that is where the rear buttons really help. All you have to do is just fire up the camera app, look at yourself uh, while opening up the front facing camera and just click on a button. And there you go. I clicked a perfect selfie over there. There you go. That's the selfie. So camera wise, this is a very good smartphone when it comes to the rear camera as well as the front facing selfie camera. Now in this modern day and age of unibody smartphones, LG has done something different with the LG G3. What they've done is that they've provided the users with a 3000 milliampere removable battery on the LG G3. Now that is something really cool, but the battery life is just about average. It won't even last you the entire day. So make sure if you buy the smartphone, you charge it every day. Now at Rs 47,990, this is by far the best Android smartphone LG has produced, not the best Android smartphone that you will get in the market. But this one definitely deserves a consideration if you are looking to buy a high-end Android smartphone for yourself. We would have been happy if LG had put it with not so special display on it, but rather a full HD display and improved on the battery life. But hey, that's the way they wanted to go. But nonetheless, a good smartphone at the end of the day and this one definitely is a recommendation from our side as well.